Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Merman Master coming at you guys from the Team Time Riders YouTube channel and we're back again with Eric. Squid Eric, I guess. Squid Eric or Octopus Eric, whatever you guys want to call him. He has um, a deck profile that uh, we haven't seen in a while but is absolutely insane. Uh, what are you playing? Aliens. That's right, but not just any aliens. This really bad aliens. But aliens playing like the original brainwashing beam and like all of that kind of shit. Like, not just not just Golgar Turbo as you said. Not Golgar Turbo. No, I only have one Golgar. My extra deck currently consists of two cards and only one Golgar. This is this is this is focusing around the A counters and using them to wipe the opponent's board and mass with either taking control of them or removal. All right, cool, let's get into it. So, two, Alien Overlord. He's really strong, he's probably one of the best cards in the deck. You can remove two A counters to special him to the field and then, and then additionally, um, once per turn, you can place one A counter on each monster the opponent controls. And he has the ability where all oh monsters with A counters lose 300 attack and defense. Now, that's the weird part about the aliens and the A-counters themselves, is that placing A-counters is a thing on a lot of alien cards, but the A-counters actually don't do anything except sit there unless this card's a card that specifically states they lose attack from A-counters is on the field. And that just makes the deck so pretty bad, but I love them, obviously. Next is three, Alien Kid. Now, this was... This was quite a find. I went to a regional, like, I've been building this deck up for four years. I just spent, like, randomly finding alien cards and purchasing them. A regional. The guy had three alien cards. I love This is, this is the card in the deck that allows you to create a soft lock. And when I say soft, I mean as soft as uh, tissue paper. Soft <laughs> lock. But it is a soft lock. Basically, any time a monster is special summoned, it gets an A counter. And a very simple but very strong effect in a deck entirely focused around the A counters. Next is three Alien Hunter. Now, Alien Hunter is bad. <laughs> yeah. If he destroys a monster in battle that has an A counter, he can attack again. And he has 16 attack. Now, you may be thinking, well, he would never get over anything. And you're right. <laughs> he won't get over anything. But he is good with another card we will talk about later. Okay. Next up is my pride and joy. The very, very fun card. Three, Alien Hypno. <laughs> okay, explain this one because... It's a wall of text. Basically, it is... A Gemini monster, so you know what that means. It takes two normal summons. But during your main phase, it just target a monster with an A counter, mind control it. And during each end phase, you have to remove an A counter or that monster is destroyed. And yeah, just, it's very simple. You drop this on the board, pray it doesn't get destroyed, wait until the next turn, Normal summon it again, and then take control of it. Simple, right? Oh my lord! I'm am certain that um, I'm certain that all these Emancipator decks will cower before the might of Alien Hypno. Obviously, <laughs> yes. Non-target uh, stealing <laughs> of one turn later. <laughs> I actually think it does target. Uh, it says select, but that means targeting. Yeah, yes, oh, obviously. Oh, so man. Uh, next is Alien Dog, and he is a very good boy. Anytime you normal summon an alien, he specials himself out of your hand and places two A counters on a monster your opponent controls. I have to ask a question. Yes. This card, as good as he is, Yeah. why only two of him, but three of him? Um, well, you see, there's a very simple explanation. I couldn't find another one. I couldn't find a third. Nobody had a third. Nobody had a third one that I could find, and... Like I said, I built this up over four years. I wasn't actively hunting for the... I wasn't like going on TCG player and purchasing the alien cards. That's why like a lot of the ratios of the deck make no freaking sense. Overlord should clearly be at three. Hunter should be replaced with shock troops. Alien should be at three. Hypno should probably not exist in the deck, but this is entirely made out of just the stuff that I found. Okay. Next is 
to Alien Mars. And he skill drains all monsters with A counters. Oh. Combine this with Alien Kid and it can actually be quite devastating. As if you can imagine, decks that really heavily rely on the special summon can actually suffer from this. Like, let's go back to the Adamancipators, you know? You special out, you uh, you have Mars on and Kid on the field. They special on that Emancipator guy from hand. No effects. They can't get the Kawaki Meru thing going. Any special summon monster with Kid and Mars on board, suddenly they can't do anything. And next is the last part of this, the soft lock, the tissue paper lock, is one alien psychic. Oh. It, monsters with A counters cannot attack while he is on the field. The lock is alien kid, special, any monster special summoned gets an A counter. Mars, they cannot gain their effects. Psychic, they cannot attack. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if they normal summon a monster? And I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> 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 um, um, well, you should run trap hole in the deck. That's where that is where the trap lineup comes in. Do not worry, my friends. And oh. finally, the most expensive card in the in this entire main deck, argue probably, two alien ammonite. Yeah, I agree it, with that. When it's normal, you resurrect a level four alien, and we got hypno, we got hunter, we got kid, we got plenty of targets, and he allows you to go into big boy Golgar, who is a boss monster. That is way too good for the archetype it is in. <laughs> you know, it yeah. is it is the equivalent of Cyber Darks randomly getting an Appaloosa style card, you know? <laughs> it's it's like it's that good for no reason. Well they technically did because of Cyber Darkness Dragon, but it just is an it, absolute pain to get out. And it only has one negate. Like this thing no, Golgar spreads a counters on the board by Bouncing your own stuff, and any Teller Knight player who plays Traver can tell you that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Bounce your Fiendish Chains, bounce Call of the Haunteds, and other, tons of other continuous spells and stuff to spread a counters, which then your monsters get, give them debuffs, and then he can remove two A counters from anywhere to just blow up a monster once per turn. Mm. He's, he's so strangely good. <laughs> Finally, uh, so for the spells, three. A cell recombination device. Um, you send a alien from the deck to the grave to place eight counters on a monster your opponent controls equal to the number to the level of the monster sent. And that's where Alien Hunter comes in. He's a level four that we can pitch easily with this. Gotcha. Additionally, you can banish him out of the graveyard to add an alien from deck to hand, except the turn it is sent to the graveyard. Um, I have a question, Konami. Why? Like, the new Chaos uh, spell thing allows you to activate its effect the second it's sent to Graveyard and enables an FDK. But you can't give my aliens the same thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Konami? Uh, this is why we love and hate Konami. So, next is three mysterious triangle. What it does is it blows up any monster on the board with an A counter and specials a little four lore alien out of the deck, but it's destroyed during the end phase. Now this is kind of where you can try to speed up the, the soft lock. Basically, before, you know, you have to normal alien kid, then you have to normal Mars, then you have to normal psychic. With this, if you have kid on board, they special a monster, boom, blow it up, Mars is on board until the end phase, and which is really good. Additionally, you could, if you have Mars, you can bring out kid and yep. vice versa. Uh, just some good stuff, really. Um, yeah. I'm really glad I'm able to pick up three. And now for the one ups. Now, this card is in this realm of spicy cards. This is probably the spiciest. One copy of Catalyst Field. Oh, come on. What it does is this is, we only play one, and it's in the deck specifically so that. We do not need to gain an additional normal summon for Hypno. Due to Catalyst Field, we normal him. It also Gemini summons him. Mm -hmm. So we get his effect right off the bat. So yeah, he's our spicy one-off. Additionally, we play 
Monster Reborn to resurrect stuff that gets destroyed because our soft walk is soft as tissue paper. Yep. And one mind control to keep up the theme of stealing monsters yes. and taking control of their minds. That's it for the spells? Uh, yeah, that's it for the spells. All right. Let's and get, and for the traps. This is where the spice is, correct? This is where you will see a lot of wax stuff. <laughs> Three. This is quite possibly my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card just like ever. Three, mass hypnosis. Target, what it does is target up to three monsters your opponent controls with eight counters and just take them. You just straight up get to take them. And, and it's just, it's again, it's like Golgar. It's an insanely strong card in an archetype that is so bad. Um, next up is two alien brain. Fun fact about alien brain, this is not alien support. It's reptile support. Yes. I know because I tried it out in my Venoms at one point. Yes, so, but it is an alien card and it is a good card because it lets us, again, when an alien is destroyed, we get to uh, basically get another one. Oh, you destroyed my alien kid. Blap, here's another one. You never knock alien kid down. He gets back stronger. Next is two, Planet Pollutant Virus. This card is very fun because basically, this is your answer to, well, what if you can't get eight counters on everything? You use this, you tribute an alien, and you nuke all monsters the opponent controls. And all monsters that they summon get eight counters until the, um, until the end of your opponent's third turn after it's activated. It is... Basically, what this thing does is it nukes boards mid-combo, and then everything they summon after that gets an A counter, which, you know what I'm gonna say, Mars and Psychic gonna make sure that um, they, uh, stay in a, uh, they stay in a pretty bad spot. And finally, arguably the best card um, out of the whole alien trap lineup, and obviously this is why I only have one of it, <laughs> Brainwashing Beam. Target an opponent's monster with an A counter, Yoink! You get it. It's now yours. Pretty simple effect. It's mass hypnosis, uh, but its cost is slightly um, less. With mass hypnosis, you are required. It's destroyed during the end phase of the turn. It's activated with brainwashing beam. You just remove counters. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that is uh, for the alien theme traps. And now for the actual traps. So I know you were thinking. What happens if they just normal summon? We bought them with Trap Hole, them. Well, what if it has less than 1,500 attack? You Mirror Force them. What if it can't be destroyed by card effects? You book it. And that's, that's, the, that's all the traps. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the question for you, though. Sure. Isn't there, like, creature seizure and all those, like, alien-themed traps that are, like, updates of, like, other traps? You know what I'm talking about? There's, like, a creature seizure that's actually alien, and what about... What about other world, uh, the A Zone, Flying Saucer, Moosey Key. I have actually, I have actually, I actually own all those cards. Um, I have tested them out inside of the deck. Um, I found that other world, the A Zone doesn't really provide. Uh, it's three hundred attack debuff for a counter. Um, it's not really what the deck is looking for. It, it is looking for ways to generate the a counters quickly and effectively to provide the massive removal that is ma stuff like mass hypnosis and brainwashing beam stuff that doesn't. Um, deliberately accelerate that strategy, provide defense, or provide debuffs should not be included in the deck. Oh, interesting. The, the deck that I have right now, as weird as it sounds, I kind of tried to like streamline it. Also, the, the Fortress Melisique is the worst thing. The, it's, it is the worst. During the end phase of the, tr during the end phase, it allows you to add an alien, which sounds good, but it's a level five, <laughs> and it's not an alien. It's flying fortress mostly, so you can't even like bring it out with something spooky. So, I got one more thing to say is because when I was building aliens way back in the day, I came up with the spiciest combo of all time. Oh, let's hear it. And I I want to see if you can try and put it in your deck. What is it? This combo was uh, featuring a deck featuring Alien Gray to put A counters on things. Oh, the uh, Alien Gray, um, that was the Alien Gray OTK. No, this was not an Alien Gray OTK, because I had no idea what that was, but this was 
using W Nebula Meteorite to flip your alien greys face up and face down, and then using Meteorite's effect to special summon a level seven light reptile from your deck. And who better to fit that bill but Cosmic Fortress, or Cosmic Horror Gangio. Oh, Cosmic Fortress Gangio. I didn't, I actually know where I can find um, the Meteorite. I uh, would have to look into Gangio, but again, like, Part of the charm, part of the fun of this deck for me was not purchasing everything I needed for it online. It was yeah. finding it organically wherever I could find them. And I feel like I feel like I might lose some of that if I just started purchasing stuff online. Because then, yeah. then it'd just be like, then I would obviously need to take out Hypno. And I can't mm. take out Hypno. He's too, he's too, he's too iconic. He's too iconic. All right. I love that you found a way to, to make it work, but... Uh... Okay. It, it is all right. Extra deck, two card extra deck. Ally of Justice, Cataster, self-explanatory, and Cosmic Fortress, Golgar. We only have two Ammonites, so we only need two Synchros, obviously, right? Yep. Cosmic Fortress, Golgar is just—it's so strong. It's for a level five Synchro. It has a really good attack value, twenty-six. Um, once per turn, you can bounce uh, spell traps to place eight counters on monster opponent controls. Equal to the number you bounced. And this is either player's spell traps. Yep. And you can remove two A counters from anywhere to destroy a monster on the field. Mm -hmm. It is an incredibly powerful counter generator, removal, and the biggest body that aliens can probably produce. In, in this deck or in a lot of different variants. So, yeah, that's the aliens. Awesome. That, this is actually an awesome deck, um, and I think it, it played very, very well and was quite strong. So anything you would change, like assuming that you were able to find all the stuff you needed, like what, what might you change in it to, to make it like more streamlined, but at the same time keep the identity of what this deck um, stands for? So the Alien Link 2 came out a while back. I'd probably get that. Uh -huh. um, I would probably get Alien Shock Troops to replace Hunter. Shock Troops is a normal monster. And, 1900, yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously you could put in Rescue Rabbit, but where's the fun in that? That's not an alien. Get that out of here. Um, <laughs> and what else? Alien Warrior. Alien Warrior is a card that exists. It's an 1800 attack, so it's better than Hunter in that regard. And then when it's destroyed by battle, I believe, uh, puts two eight counters. Yes. And of course, it's so alien. So I would probably put in that over Hunter, uh, and I would probably... No alien mother, right? No, no, no alien mother. I would probably uh, buy get a third over alien overlord. That card is immensely strong. A third alien dog. Two more uh, brainwashing beam. Um... Yeah, I think that and maybe some other random level five synchro. It can't be too strong though, you know. Like, exactly. That would defeat the point. <laughs> I'm thinking. Well, actually, hmm. What's good level fives? Actually, let's actually let's go with Texanus Hyper Librarian. Yes. When when they synchro summon, we draw a card. <laughs> Very strong <laughs> because aliens, if they're known for anything, it's. Synchro Turbo. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they, they certainly rival Tech Genus on that level. Indeed. <laughs> they truly do. Mm. All right. All right, so that's about it. Well, uh, thank you very much for that deck profile. It's absolutely enlightening to see what one can do with enough brain power, um, a, a small enough amount of money, and enough time. I would argue a small enough amount of brain power. <laughs> <laughs> but making a deck that actually has some kind of synergy using the old stuff is not something that you see that often. Um, but I guess to finish this off, uh, anything else you want to say about the deck or any shout-outs that you want to give? Um, Shout-out to that random dude at Regionals in 2019 who had three alien kid in his trade binder. <laughs> that was very a, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the guy who 
uh, gave me the Cosmic Fortress Golgar mm -hmm. um, for free. It was pretty crazy. He won. Um, he just he was just surprised anybody wanted it. <laughs> like I showed him my alien deck that I was making for this, and he just said, he "Just said take it." <laughs> like you're <laughs> it's just like okay then sure <laughs> and also just I don't know I guess shout out to that like guy on eBay who was selling like. 10% of this current deck for $30 on eBay that I purchased when I was 10 years old. <laughs> it's because um, that the failure then has led to this success, in, in quotes, success yes. today. You certainly got your money's worth, <laughs> yes. all things considered. Indeed. Well, that was absolutely enlightening. Um, thank you so much for that deck profile. Um, <laughs> Words escape me. Words escape me at this moment, but I'm sure they won't escape you guys. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments section below, and if you'd love to see more deck profiles from Mr. Demore, we'll be happy to bring them to you soon enough. But this has been the Merman Master with the Team Time Riders YouTube channel, along with... Squid Eric Demore. That's right, and we're going to catch you guys next time. Peace. All right.